Hello, my name is Scarlett McDonald. I am a director of a play that I've written here at Shipley. So I wanted to write a story where, in a situation, I felt like I wasn't being listened to or my voice was being shut out for someone else's. And then I, th I thought of this incident that happened to me while I was working over the summer. Get this pathetic excuse from the produce store, can't even accomplish that. You should be ashamed of yourself. And that incident stuck so much out to me that I decided to write a play about it and how oftentimes people only think of themselves and don't listen to other people who are also, are, all, are just trying to help you. It's customers that the work that employees are supposed to do. What kind of sword force? It's customers. 
customers to do that? Do you think I have better things to do than show you how to do your job? Well, your job is to serve my needs and give me what I deserve. And your pathetic excuse of a protestant can't even accomplish that. You shall be ashamed. Ashamed for creating a pathetic store. Ashamed. Hey, don't tell me what my job is, Missy. My job is not to slave away your request like a servant. I sell a product, my employees do the same. And hey, you keep rambling about these better things you could be doing. Well, did you ever think that my employees might have something better to do than to listen to you whine and cry over hushed corn? Did you ever think that I might have better things to do than to lecture you about your nonsense? Heck, do you see that customer over there? Do you even care that they might want to do something other than wait for you to finish your little power trip? Or do you only think that your needs matter? Not the ones who spent hours in the, on their feet in the boiling sun in order to pay for their actual needs? Well, if you truly think that our store and our corn isn't up to your standards, I will gladly escort you out of the store myself. What do you think I should do? Just, just wait until I post on my Twitter. You won't have these customers for long. Can I buy my pie now? Yes. Yes, you can. Take care of me, would you? I'm done. Done! Bob, I'm sorry. I know you said we don't have that service anymore, but I was afraid she'd get mad, and I thought that I could husk it quickly, but I didn't think she'd be so demanding, and I just couldn't say no. Look, kid, in the service industry, people get a lot of things. Things they think they're entitled to. But these freshly made pies and husk ones, our comforts, comforts we give them, comforts we put our blood and our sweat and our paycheck into making. And yet these silver spoon individuals are so used to their first class plane tickets and fancy cars that when we can no longer supply them with these comforts, they view it as a threat. And they'll threaten and harass and fight even to harm you in order to keep their comforts because they, they believe it's their God-given right as a customer to have them. But I hope the next time you come across a diva princess or Karen, whatever you call them these days, you won't let them have power over you. In other words, say no, right to their face. But it's just so hard to say no. I'm, I don't want to start a fight. I don't like confronting people. Okay, think of it this way then. Unlike them, your job is not a comfort. It's your livelihood, your necessity, and you're in your power to remind them of that and remind them that Though they pay for your paycheck, this is still your store and your products. And if they don't like what we have to offer, they can go find another store that fits better in line with their comforts. Yeah? Okay, I'll remember that the next time. This is a comfort. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm so late. The traffic around is just so bad. It's all right. Uh, do I need to plan anything? Yes, yes, here you are. Hey, the vegetables and fruits are all mixed together. Don't you usually put those in separate boxes? Well, yes, we do, but we we're so short on employees recently. We just haven't had the time. I'm so, I'm so sorry. You already paid for this. I know. I just wanted to give you this extra tip. Thank you. You know, thank you again. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's not a necessity.